And the many-to-many -many saga continues. So one of the issues that uh, students are having is how to filter across the many-to-many -many relationships. So I didn't have the other one handy. This was right here. So I just pulled up this example. The, my students have done uh, last term. This was our doctor, patient, familiar uh, scenario. But of course, we also added the condition. So there's a many-to-many -many relationship between a patient could have many conditions. And a condition, of course, might be had by many patients, right? Uh, this one is just set up using our check boxes. So, you know, if I go into edit, besides changing the doctor and so on, I could say, okay, this is the uh, two conditions or maybe just the one condition that this particular patient has. And then it shows up here in our index view. And that's just great. Now, so the question is, wouldn't it be nice to have a drop down list where I could select say cancer or diabetes, and just see the patients that actually have that condition listed. It gets a little tricky and there's actually an easy solution for it. So I'll just stop running for the moment and we'll come back here. I really just need to work in two spots, in the patient controller and then the index view for that uh, patient. So uh, remember how this is done, our index action result here. Uh, we have three parameters we're passing in the sort order just so we can sort by different columns a search string for that text box where we can search uh, the name for uh, a substring of characters. And then for our drop down list of doctors, right? Notice it's a nullable int because if we have all doctors selected, then we just get a null value. And then uh, the beauty of link, right? Is that we first of all populate our patients collection here with our link query, including the doctors and the conditions. And then we decide what filters we want to add dynamically, right? So if the doctor ID has value, so we've selected a doctor, we're dynamically adding this filter uh, that will just return doctors where the doctor ID matches, sorry, patients whose doctor ID matches. And then the same thing for our search string, looking in both the first and last names for the search string. And then finally the sort order is added at the end, right? Of course, remember how link works. We don't actually execute the query in SQL until we actually hit the dot to list. Up to that point, we're just adding the logic that's going to be used in the query eventually. So I need a couple things here. Uh, one thing, I, I could add it to my popular drop-down list, but just for simplicity and clarity, I really just want to throw in here into my view bag, uh, essentially code to give me a, a, a data for populating a new drop-down list of conditions so I can choose conditions, right? So it'll be another select list, okay? Uh, my link query here is just conditions, ordering it by the condition name, so it's alphabetical in the list. And displaying the ID, sorry, explaining the condition name in the dropdown and storing the ID as the value internally. So that's just going to be in the view bag, so I can populate a uh, dropdown list in the actual view. So going over to the index view here then, I can just steal this one. Here's my dropdown list for the doctor ID. I'll just grab that little bit of HTML paste it back in. So this will be, uh, maybe I would say filter for condition, right? So my drop down list will be with condition ID. Okay, I'll include the all conditions option here. so that uh, we don't have to filter by any conditions if we don't want to. And the rest is perfectly fine. That just sets it up so it looks right with our bootstrap classes. Okay, so that should make the change I need here. So really, it's just a matter of coming back. Obviously, I'm gonna have to add yet another parameter, right? Another uh, optional integer or nullable integer, condition ID. Okay. So just as I did here with this if statement, I decided if I've selected a doctor, so the doctor ID has value, then I'm sequentially adding a where clause to my select statement. So I can start off, copy paste this, right? Come down here. It's condition ID this time though. Has value. And actually I'm just gonna Uh, just break it out a little more. I don't know why. I didn't actually have to do that, come to think of it, but it's just kind of a habit. So really, I'm just going to add yet another where, another condition to the filter of the select statement. But really all I want to do is, in this case, 
Okay, my lambda expression is that p goes to p dot conditions. Now you see, remember though, conditions is a I collection. Okay, it's a collection of condition objects that belong to the patient. We will have it available because, remember, we've already included it up here in our first link query. Now, p dot conditions, that's great, but how do we search the collection of conditions that the patient has for this one selected out of the list? Well, it's not that difficult. Fortunately, there's a dot any. There's also dot all, but we don't want to use that because we're looking for if any of the conditions the patient has matches the one that we've selected, right? Now, of course, we have to use the link query here. I don't know, C goes to C dot ID. And if that compares to my parameter condition ID, Oh, I need another bracket. Okay, and that's it. That's all there is to filtering across the many to many. Because remember, a patient can have many conditions. There's the intersection table, but we can ignore that. We don't need to worry about no stinking intersection, right? We can just add this any operator to the collection of conditions the patient has and look for one that matches the condition we have selected. So uh, I think that should work. Let me just bring up our uh, website here. And there we go. So I'll go to, oh, not conditions. I guess I could add a new condition if I wanted, but let's just go to patients. And there's our new filter, right? So if I select uh, cancer and filter, then only patients with the condition cancer appear in the list. I can further narrow this down if I just want to see Doogie Hauser's patients with cancer. Right, there we go. I can clear the filter. You can filter for heart problems, and perfect. So fully functional, easy peasy. So this, the ability to filter across the many to many to many relationship in your queries is very important in link. Even for example, if uh, a resource uh, is associated with uh, certain logins, right, or roles, uh, then you can uh, do the same type of thing to make sure that the uh, uh, role contains or the authentication is set up for the resource to be available to people with a given role, right? Same type of idea. Just use that any and away you go.